guys, someone suggested that I do a hoot, like a hooter test or horn test. Um, thank you to that person. I remember the name now and I've just like forgotten. But anyways, on the old YouTube. And I actually love the idea because it is one of my worst things when I'm like really annoyed, especially like <clears throat> often like in the fast lane and someone's driving like a twist. And I like hoot at them and then it's like meep. And you, oh, it's just humiliating. And then the same goes for when there's one that's like, honk. I'm like, oh, ha ha, out of my way, please. Honk, 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 honk. So, as I'm driving here, but I don't want anyone to think that I'm hooting at them. So I'm just gonna go. Oh, did you hear it? Okay, so not amazing. <laughs> But it suits this car, right? Which is the Espresso. Now, back in 2020, this originally launched like as we were going into hard lockdown, which was such a pity because obviously it couldn't get like all the exposure maybe that, you know, or that Suzuki would have wanted it to get. Um, but despite that, it did very well. In fact, Suzuki is kicking ass. And so they should, you know, they're like, five derivatives or whatever that are under 200,000 rand brand new they're like in the perfect market like because we're all like you know it's really struggling um and if you're downsizing or you need a new car but like do you know you just don't have the cash like we used to going into something like this or like just a suzuki in general it's just so affordable and they're bloody brilliant now this little thing is odd looking, okay? It's really funny looking. It makes me giggle though, like it makes me smile, which I think is a good thing. <laughs> um, but it offers incredible value for money. Now it's had an ever so slight update, like the front and the rear has been redesigned apparently, um, and it has a few tweaks here and there, but I honestly can't really tell the difference. I think I'd have to drive them back to back in order to tell you exactly what's going on or have read the press release a little bit more in depth to tell you, but regardless, actually, I just want to do a video on it because it's flipping awesome. I love a budget car. I love it. So for all you people who think that I only do like fancy cars, I've got a couple of comments about that lately. Like, do you know, why did you do about cars like that real people drive and real people can afford? Well, fine. That's what I'm doing here. Um, but yeah, do love me a budget because they're also so fuss free. They're just nippy and this is nippy. It's got a one liter three cylinder petrol engine, same as a Solerio, 49 kilowatts, 89 Newton meters. Um, it's so fab around town, even up like like up hills, like I was going to say Klufnik. Um, if you know it, you know it. Um, <clears throat> if you know, you know. Uh, absolutely fine as long as the car's not fully loaded obviously um, I think one of my favorite Ubers to get is an espresso because they tend to be in really good condition still um, and so I just I don't know I just quite enjoy when an Uber driver arrives and he's in an espresso and oh the biggest news like sort of for the update or the most exciting actually is the fact that there's now electronic stability control across the whole range um, and according to reports and i.e cars de Cosa, where i read this the other day did you know that esp has saved more lives than seat belts and i like it makes sense i guess because you know you would think that to prevent an accident is better than being in one, right? Which is the whole point. So that's really fab. I'm just gonna turn the stop start off because I hate that anyway. But back to the engine, maybe the fuel consumption that's also ever so slightly been improved by like 0.5 liters per 100 Ks or something. The manual is cammed up 4.6 liters, the auto 4.4. Um, and that is slight improvement. Again, thank you Carlos Cosa because I read this in their report the other day, which is again, interesting that just that slight sort of improvement means you can save between like 10 and 12 Rand for every 100 Ks. And if you're doing a lot of, I just think it's fab. Like take, you know, I'm like, take it where you can get it, people. Do you know the savings? So there are, okay, 
This car is under 200,000 Rand, right? Okay, so this is the GL Plus. It comes in at just under 186,000 Rand, brand new. Flipping incredible value for money. You can get the S edition, which adds things like a review camera and a little a bigger screen. But this already has a seven inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, multifunction steering wheel, air conditioning, electric windows, two airbags and the SP I spoke about. Shh, motorbike. Shit. Um, it's just like it's got everything that you can need, I think, that you find in a lot more premium models, right? However, okay, again, budget buy. So there are a few things. The boot you have to open with a key. So it's like click, 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 I'll show you. Um, <clears throat> the seating position is really difficult. I mean, I feel like I'm looking down at you because that is there's no height adjustment to this chair seat um there's also no rake or reach so you can't adjust the steering wheel so it's kind of like you just take what you can get do you know what i mean like i'm i can't see when i push myself lower i feel very upright and because you're in this little upright karaki um it just feels like you like hello <laughs> postman pat a bit you know and then speaking of its you know body shape and everything obviously it is a bit of an odd shape. It has got a higher ground clearance. Great if you want to do like a little bit of gravel, but you're, you don't want to be hit by a southeaster or strong wind, you know, on a highway. It, it is quite terrifying. Um, you just get blown across the road, like across all the lanes. So tricky, but that's like one of the small things. Talk about small things. The boot is quite small. It's 239 liters. Um, so that is kind of tiny, but it's not terrible. But what is fab is the rear space. It's really good. The leg room is incredible. Um, just in general, it actually feels quite spacious for such a teeny tiny little car um, or such a little budgety car, you know? So Ram, my recommendation is if you're on a really hectic budget and you want a new car, I would consider this. I'd consider this over the quid. I hate the quid. Um, so this I just find to be a little bit more I think it's just quirky and if you love quirk um, then you should give this a bash oh man a lot espresso silly little looking thing okay i'm gonna take this onto a little bit of gravel here let's see what happens oh oh okay ah! okay we good we are good to go guys oh fab little turning circle up over a hill hells yeah up over more guys love it love it